y'all welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be washing my hair and showing you guys how i blow out my hair um what i use and how i make it easy for myself to get a nice blowout look so what you see right here is just me detangling my hair my hair has been in a ponytail for the past week. Um, I've just been so busy and I haven't had any real time to really just dedicate to my hair. So it's kind of been in a ponytail and under a hat. Um, so today I decided, you know what, I'm going to wash my hair and I'm going to show you guys how I blow it out. So I'm just detangling and sectioning off my hair into four sections. I section my hair off into four sections to wash it and style it. I do this because my hair is super thick, y'all. It's thick and it can be very tiresome and just overwhelming if I were to just hop in the shower and just start washing my hair. Like that would be a complete hot mess. Um, so yeah, I can't do that. So what I do is section my hair off um, and go through and detangle each section of my hair just to remove all the shedded hair. Um, get all of that out, section it off, clip it off, and move over um, to the next side. So today I'm going to be using the Olaplex number 4 and 5 Bond Maintenance Shampoo and Conditioner. So before I shampoo, I'm going to go in with the Olaplex Hair Perfector number 3. It's supposed to be used before shampooing as a bond builder. Alright, so that was fast, wasn't it? Um, I wish it was really that fast. But I have washed my hair and I have conditioned it. And now I'm going to go through um, each section of my hair. Um, this is my curl pattern um, for anyone that has ever asked, like, do I still have a curl pattern now that I'm a straight natural? Um, I do have some curl or, you know, waves or whatever, but I don't have um, any real curl pattern like I used to and that's okay because I don't wear my hair in its natural state anymore I haven't worn it in its natural state for a very long time I primarily wear my hair straight um, sometimes I will give my hair a break and do like a protective style with maybe some braids or something like that but for the most part I keep my hair straight that Mazzani heat protectant, you guys need to get it. I've been using that heat protectant um, for over five years and I stand by it. I love it, um, it gets the job done and I really feel like it protects my hair um, from heat damage. So I definitely recommend the Mazzani Thermo Strength um, heat protectant. Now I'm going in with this Garnier Fructis Flat Iron Perfector. It is a straightening mist and I don't use it all the time, but if I want some added protection um, from any heat, I'll go ahead and use that in combination with the Thermo Strength Heat Protectant.
So the last step is going to be adding this Olaplex bonding oil or bond oil. Just going to take a little bit of that, rub it in my hands, and just moisturize that into my hair. Now after I have worked all of this in to my hair, I'm going to repeat this on every section of my hair. just kind of helps to not remove the moisture from my hair. In case you're wondering, um, I've been natural for 11 years now and throughout that 11 years I have big chop to a TWA y'all remember when people used to say that do they even still use that term TWA but I have been natural for 11 years and I have big chop two times since um, I have gone natural and I have to say that this is the longest that my hair has ever been um, I did come close to it before um, but I did get heat damage severe heat damage um, years ago and I did big chop it to start over that process of growing my hair out again after getting it damaged but what I will say is that I have learned so much after being natural for so long and I definitely feel like I have a good handle on how to take care of my hair, how to manage it, and how to prevent it now from getting severe heat damage. Um, my hair is much more relaxed, my curl pattern, um, but that's because I put heat in it. But I will say that my hair is healthy and I put heat in my hair probably one to two times a month. drying my hair is that my arms get tired I got one more section left
The front of my hair on the sides tend to be the toughest parts of my hair to blow dry because they are more coarse. Um, it's always been like that, but yes, the struggle is real. Does anybody else hold their blow dryer like this? I feel like it's so much easier to blow dry my hair holding it like this. I never use the handle at all. So comment below if you hold your blow dryer like this. I'm clearly over it now. Now that I've blown out each section of my hair, I'm just checking to make sure that my roots are dry. Um, I think that the key to a good blowout is making sure that your hair is dry from root to tip. Y'all, I'm so proud of my hair, how well um, it has grown and how healthy it is. I think that it's so important that you not just focus on how long your hair is, but focus on the health of your hair. This is the healthiest my hair has ever been and I'm loving it. It's a lot of work, but I still love it. And I didn't know if I wanted to flat iron my hair, what I wanted to do. Um, if you saw my previous video, I used the wrap curl rollers on my hair in my last video. I will link it, I think they say up here. So I'll link it up here or post it in the description box. But if you haven't watched that video, go ahead and watch it. So I think today I am going to use the rollers again, but this time I'm going to do it on blown out hair. In my last video, I did it on an old, um, I wouldn't say a silk press, but it was lightly flat ironed. And it was, my flat iron style was getting old, so. I put the rollers in. I did the wrap curl rollers on my old hair because it was almost time to wash it. Let me know guys, if you are interested in knowing more about my hair journey, um, like how long I've been natural and things like that, comment below. Um, feel free to ask me any questions or I can make a video about my hair, natural hair journey. Okay, so now it's time to style. Um, I guess I can give, I can turn around and show you guys the length of my hair right now. I recently got it trimmed. Probably, it probably took off maybe, maybe an inch and a half, almost two inches. So I'm trying to get my ends like, I like my hair thick from root to tip. So I'm trying to 
kind of get my hair there. Um, it probably looks like that now, which is good, but you know, I'm still trying to make sure I maintain my ends and get it exactly the way that I want. So this is the way my hair looks now. This is freshly washed and blow dried. And you can see my ends. This is the final look. I'm all done. This is how I get my hair blown out. Nice and sleek, frizz free. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, drop me a comment and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.